Right, we're going to get into the next lesson, right? This lesson is going to be called Whatever you do, don't self sabotage. Okay? Whatever you do, don't self sabotage. The enemy wants you to do that. Right? The enemy wants you to do that. Or should I say, our enemies want us to do that. Self sabotage. Because they can't. They can't destroy you no other way. Right? They can't destroy you no other way. So they would rather you just destroy yourself. That's why when you see their tacky. You, you see how tacky these people are. Right? They know they can't destroy you. So they're hoping that you will. I don't know. Suicide by cop out. Or <laughs> whatever it is. But that's why we have to stay circumspect. Read these scriptures. Take time out during your day. Yeah, I know they thought I was going to be here probably for an hour and just leave. No, I thought, you know what? I'm going to stay here for a little while and do my studying. Right? They want you to rush. Do not self-sabotage. Right? Whatever the enemy wants you to do, don't do it. Go to 2 Corinthians 13. And five, examine yourselves. The Lord Yahweh wants us to examine ourselves. Right? Examine goes into scrutinize, to scrutinize ourselves. Right? Scrutinize ourselves. And you know what that takes? That self that takes self-examination. Right, I'm doing this right, I'm doing this right. And now I want to say this as well. Yeah, you put this word first. But make sure everything we're doing, because when, if you're in the truth, you're never outside of the truth. Even when you're operating within the world. Make sure you're staying somewhat busy, you're, you're being productive. Right, so people can't, they can't really say anything. Because they see you're productive. You're always doing something productive and constructive. Because remember, the enemy's looking to sabotage. Right, that's why they got me on 24 hour surveillance. The reason why you put someone on 20, 24 hours of events is because you're looking, you have to sabotage them. But it's alright because Yahweh by Shem Yahweh is going to deal with you. That's why they spy on us. Because they're trying to sabotage. But don't self sabotage. That's what they want you to do. Because they know, even when you fall, they know you get back up. They're just hoping you fall and stay down. Okay. Prove your own self. So we have to prove that word for prove in the Greek is dokimos. Test our own selves. Okay. Know you not that your own selves, how that your house is in you, except you be reprobates. Reprobate means reject. So we always have to test ourselves. What am I doing here? What could I improve on there? Always. Because the enemy's all look, the enemy's looking for loopholes, gateways. He's gonna use people to try to discourage you. He's going to try every single tactic, everything, to try to get you away from Yahweh Shai. Okay. See what else we can find, Mother Kishaw. So we went to that. And I want to go to James as well. This is James 3 and 17. Wherefore to him that knoweth, to do good and doeth it not, to him it is it sin. So if you know the right thing to do, but do if it not, to him is it sin. Right? You do you listen, Yahweh is gonna let you know when you're when you're doing the right thing. He's gonna let you know, he's gonna give you signs. He will give you signs. You ain't, you, you ain't just gonna be doing this work and Yahweh is gonna show you any signs and so he he will give you signs to carry on, to enjoy. Okay. See what else I can find. Remember the enemy. Goes right as a roaring lion. Let's go to Peter's. Mm. And remember, he's an accuser. Mm. He's an accuser. So he uses he uses people to try to accuse us. Oh, he ain't doing this right. Oh, he's 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 doing this. Um, he's eating too much. Um, he's he's useless. Um, and um, yeah. See, that's the enemy. You gotta know when the enemy's speaking and when your house is speaking. Right? The enemy will try to sabotage. Okay. Go to Peter's. First Peter's 5 and 8. Be sober. 
So for us to be sober, we have to be vigilant. For us to be sober, we have to be soberly minded. So when you're sober, you're calm, right? You can't be sober if you're not calm, right? When you're calm, you're sober and you can observe, okay? Be sober. Be vigilant. This is what Peter said. Be sober so you can think, so you can see. You can sit down. You can, you can analyze, okay? Be vigilant. So aware of our surroundings, what's going on. Because your adversary, yeah, we have an adversary. His name is Satan, the devil. Uh, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion. So the devil is also known as a, as a as a roaring lion. Key thing. Sorry about the days. The ducklings out here. The roaring lion. So that's how it, and it is very ferocious, roaring lion, intimidation, right? As a roaring lion, walketh about seeking whom he may devour. So the enemy is walking about up on up, seeking who he can devour. He's looking for weak prey. He's looking for brothers that are not praying. He's looking for brothers that are not fasting. He's looking for brothers that are not studying. He's looking for brothers that don't have faith. Because it's, it's looking for weak prey. When a lion hunts, it's hunting for weak prey. Okay. Check this out. Who is this steadfast in the faith? But we resist when all these things are going on. Right? And remember, he's going to... It says he walketh about as a royal lion, seeking him remain devour. So he's looking... He's going to come from any single angle. Bro, I'm speaking from experience now. He's going to come from any angle. Right? He's going to use any, any, any angle, man. Whether it's your family, whether it's co-workers, whether it's support. He's going to use so many different people. Right? So many different people. And that's why we have to be circumspect. Go to Ephesians as well. Okay? We've got Ephesians. And hold on just a minute. Lower the spirit. Ephesians 3, Ephesians 2, this is Ephesians 5 and 15, right? See then that you walk circumspectly, circumspect, circum, Cir have you ever heard that term circumnavigate? Circumspect, circum, full circle, spect with your eyes, you can see, you're looking, you're observant, right? Not as fools but as wise so we don't want to be as fools like them foolish virgins now we want to be them wise virgins not as fools but as wise so we got to move wisely in this world okay redeeming the time because the days are evil so there ain't no room for self-sabotage because you're rede you're redeeming the time right you're redeeming the time Right? Ain't no time for self-sabotage, man. The self-sabotage, you know how most of that happens? Through fear and through doubt. That's how most people um, self-sabotage. Through fear, through doubt, through fear, through, through doubt. That's the main way people sabotage themselves because they don't want to move. Or they're scared what others may think or say. Do not allow that to happen. Okay? Do not allow that to happen. And it says Baba Kishar, what else have we got? Um, and be, hold on, hold on, hold on. Wherefore, be not unwise, but understanding what the word of the Lord is. So we understand what the word of the Lord is because we read his words. And every time Yahweh would mention it, it'd be about his return. Right? To watch, to watch, and his return. Right? And he would always so reverence his father, Yahweh. And it says, and be not drunk with um, wine. It doesn't look, I bought some wine today. I bought some port, some ruby port. But now you can drink. Be not drunk with wine is the philosophies of this world. Don't be getting caught up on any of our um, philosophy. Women is excess. So there's excess with that. 
but be filled with the Spirit. So we want to be filled with the Spirit of Yahweh by Sham Yahweh Lord willing, Baba Kishra, and pray that Yahweh Shai, please keep His Holy Spirit upon us because we're, we're going to need it. With the things that are happening now, people are getting more colder, all these, we're going to need it. All right? And be filled with the Spirit. All right? The Holy Spirit. Okay? Speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs. How are we filled with the Spirit? You know, one thing I've learned. The more you invest, the more you cleave, the more you build a relationship with Yahweh, the more He can build a relationship with you. The more, you, the less you do, the, the less He can pour into you. All right? So that's the best way to be filled with the Spirit. All right? By doing this work. And it says, Baba Kishra, check this out, check this out. Speak it to yourselves in psalms so we can speak to ourselves. <laughs> the average person say, the average purpose say, he's mad. It's, it, it's mad, isn't it? It's mad. It's sick. It says, speak into yourselves in psalms so we can do that. Okay. Speak it to yourselves in psalms and hymns. And psalms are powerful when it comes to prayer, deliverance, faith, and so forth. And hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your hearts. That means in your mind, that word for heart is mind. To the Lord, you have a shame. Verse 20, giving thanks. So we also want to give thanks. Right? Always for the things unto the Heavenly Father. And Father, in the name of our Lord, you have a Submitting yourselves one to one another in fear of the Heavenly Father. Whatever we do. And this goes for me as well. Because sometimes we can find ourselves doing that. Because really, if you're not... If you're prog if you're what's it procrastinating, then that's your le that's for leaving the door open for the enemy, right, to mess with us and to accuse us, right? Because we're in that time, and the enemy's looking for anything, and it does talk about in Revelations what twelve is it twelve and twelve or twelve and fourteen, right, or twelve and ten, about the accuser of our brethren. Which accused us before our power day and night. When you read that scripture, it says day and night. So the enemy is accusing us before the Father day and key thing day and night. So who would that be? That would be these witches, these warlocks, these covens. They, they, you know they're praying to whatever they're praying to, their idol or whatever. That's what they're doing, right? They're praying to their idols and so forth and praying to their idols to have us destroy whatever thing they're praying to. Right? And they do know, you know what? They do know the name of Yahweh as well. A lot of these, they do, a lot of these mates, they know the name of Yahweh, but they refuse to say it. The name of the Lord is dreadful among the heathens. Dreadful. Right? So, Lord willing, this was edifying. I'm going to shut off here and until the next time. Shalom. Shalom.